Newsflash, aliens are taking over the planet. No, seriously, aliens are taking over the world of science and pop culture. 2017 was definitely the year of the alien. But the weirdest story of them all was a star named Tabby, whose bizarre blinking can't be explained. Tabby Star is perhaps the most interesting star we observed with the Kepler Space Telescope. Tabby Star exhibits dimmings in brightness. We see 20% of the light dip every 700 days or so, and we don't know what's causing it. Normally, scientists see a 1% flux in light from a star when a planet crosses in front of it. But whatever's crossing in front of Tabby Star is creating a 20% flux. So when NASA released the data collected by the Kepler telescope, citizen scientists noticed that Tabby's flux stood out from the other 150,000 stars being monitored, which is why everyone went all WT flux. And soon, a theory rooted in science fiction started gaining momentum. My name is Ralph Peter Mongilardi. I'm the author of Next to the Gods, a science fiction series. And four years ago, I predicted how a Dyson Sphere might behave exactly the way Tabby Star appears to be behaving today. Before we go any further, let's talk Dyson Spheres. They're believed to be alien megastructures built around a star to capture energy. First postulated by science fiction author Olaf Stapleton, then supported by physicist Freeman Dyson. All right, Raoul, go ahead. Essentially, something round and artificial is surrounding the solar system in order to absorb unlimited power. The way that I've described the Dyson Sphere in Next to the Gods is it's blinking because it has to burn off heat. The correlation between that and Tabby Star is that Tabby Star is blinking erratically with a huge differentiation in flux and light that we don't understand why. See, this idea isn't crazy. It's a plausible theory explaining Tabby's misbehavior. So if it isn't aliens, what gives with Tabby Star? Well, we may have an answer that leaves aliens in the dust. When we see these dips, the star gets redder. This says to us that whatever's blocking is absorbing a lot of the blue light. And we know from physics that the kinds of things that can do this is dust. Dust, a giant cloud of space dust bigger than we've ever seen and only visible with infrared telescopes could be passing in front of Tabby's star and capturing our imagination. And while this theory is broadly supported, here's what's so fluxing cool about this. Our theories, aliens included, help move NASA missions forward to get real answers. Tabby Star is the perfect example of the types of things that fuel these new missions and propels them forward. Meet Jody Davis, a systems engineer for NASA. When it comes to these new telescopes that we have, the James Webb Space Telescope and WFIRST, we'll have the ability to get more precise measurements of a star like this in infrared wavelengths and, and be able to gather more data to maybe prove out a theory um, of why Tabby Star is dimming the way it is or to generate a new theory. So whether you believe it's aliens, a giant cloud of dust, or something else, Tabby Star's bizarre behavior is still a mystery, motivating us to keep searching for the answer.